So I got a request here from YouTube viewer Matt Elasky asking me to show how to adjust the Z offset in Creality Print Slicer specifically. Specifically the Z offset to show them. Um, and so here I go. Uh, so select your material and select your perimeter configuration and double click on it and if you go down to here to experimental you don't see it yet but if you click advanced now enable g-code offset up here so let me do that again now that I unchecked it so so now enable g-code offset Z so if you click this box then this number shows up and so this is the default number minus 0 0.05 millimeters which is a very small amount um, and uh, the reason they do that so basically they're pushing the z-axis the nozzle toward the bed by a 20th of a millimeter right and which is a very small number um, and the reason they do that is if you set it to zero, which you can set it to zero, and it, and it will usually print fine. You might have a little bit more bed adhesion issues, but probably not by much, if any. If any, um, I mean, if you're having bed adhesion issues, then that will probably make it worse. Um, but if you print something and you have it as 0, 0.00, the G-code offset, um, the underside will have a bit more lines between the filament lines the sort of cracks between the filament lines on the first layer um, although when you print that first layer the top surface of the first layer will look much nicer but if you take it off the print bed on the underside the, there's slight gaps between the print lines and so um, if you have a minus 0 0.05 the default uh, what happens is you print the first layer and it get it raises up a little bit on the top surface and uh, I'll call it a misconception you know you can judge for everybody can judge for themselves but just try to I just uh, strongly advise keep an open mind and consider this point before you dig in your heels um, if you uh, how often are you ever gonna print one layer other than testing the answer is basically never um, just about never. I've done it, uh, trying to see how transparent I could do. But again, it was just testing. I didn't wasn't actually trying to make anything. Just trying to see how transparent I could get some filament. And so, yes, if you're going to print one layer for whatever reason, then 0, 0.00 will give you better results on the top, but worse results on the bottom. Whereas if you go with the default, the minus 0 0.05, the first layer will look a little rough on the top but if you peel it off the bed it will look nice and smooth on the bottom and especially after you print the second layer which will effectively iron out the first layer and so you so once you print two layers at the default setting here it comes out super smooth um, and I did do a pretty deep dive if you click there's a playlist uh, should be linked at the end of this video I did a pretty deep dive uh, I did a whole bunch of test prints and messing with these settings and uh, basically determined that uh, as long as you keep your nozzle clean and keep your print bed clean, meaning don't have melted plastic on either or, especially uh, where it does the purge line and the, and the um, uh, what do you call this? It's like a second smaller purge line on the rear middle of the bed uh, when it's basically zeroing out the z-axis. But anyway, a little bit of rambling there point is there is a, I have a deep dive playlist that explores all this stuff and then you can uh, judge for yourself with your own conclusions my conclusion after the deep dive was that minus point zero, minus zero point zero five default is the ideal number in fact if you're printing more than one layer if for whatever reason you're printing, printing one layer you may want to um, you're never gonna get perfect on the top and bottom um, but feel free to mess with this setting and uh, I guess that's about it for this video if you found it interesting or had gained value from it uh, please consider subscribing and uh, hitting the notification bell and sharing with your friends on various so social medias and uh, medias that's that's an interesting word because I think it isn't one uh, <laughs> various social media and uh, and yeah, so uh, stay tuned for some more stuff, and uh, Happy New Year. It happens to be uh, t 1231, 
December 31st, 2023, as I record this, 7 o'clock at night. And so, Happy New Year to everybody. Have a great uh, 2024, and I look forward to uh, seeing you all next year.